what's going on you guys and welcome back to cyber club today we're going to make some melted crayon art so let's get started here's what you'll need a canvas or cardstock crayons you'll need a blow dryer a hot glue gun and if you want to do a cutout or a silhouette you can do that as well i decided to do a silhouette of someone doing gymnastics you will see how this will turn out in the end but again you do not have to do this you can honestly skip this step and go straight to assembling your crayons but if you decide to do a silhouette please be very careful because scissors are very sharp next i am going to get my crayons and assemble them so you can assemble them in the colors of the rainbow like you see on the background behind me or you can just kind of pick and choose where you want your crayons to go and you can put them where you want them to go that's kind of what I did. This is a step that you take before you glue your crayons down. That way you can make sure that you have enough. And that way you can just create your own design. I realized I didn't have enough so I took a few extra crayons that I had laying around the house. And I added them on as well. Next, I'm going to use a hot glue gun and I'm going to glue down my crayons. Again, you would probably need an adult to do this because a hot glue gun gets very hot. I have the medium heat, but it still gets very hot, you guys, and I don't want you guys to burn yourself. So you're going to glue down the crayons one by one and whatever design you choose. I decided to do a straight line because it's going to act as a balance beam. You'll see the end result though. After I glue down all of my crayons, I'm going to then use my blow dryer. Plugging up a blow dryer can also be very dangerous as well, so please get an adult to do that. And I'm going to use my blow dryer on medium to high heat, and I'm going to put it on my crayons so it can melt. Now, the tricky thing about this is that the crayon, or the wax rather, will fall in the way that you blow dry it. So if you blow dry it downward, it will fall downward. If you blow dry it with a slant, your wax will go slanted. You're able to mix your colors or just let them fall individually. This is a really cool activity. I found it very soothing and very relaxing, but it was really cool how the colors turned out. Some colors mixed that I weren't expecting to mix, and this was my first time trying it, and it was cool. Now, I did notice when I added the other crayons that weren't Crayola, they did not melt or it was really hard for me to melt them. So, if you do this, just try to stick with Crayola because I am 100% sure that they'll melt. I'm going to then add my silhouette. And here's the finished product, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys try it and like it. And come back next time for more cool art activities. Next up, let's head to the kitchen for a great snack. Let's make a healthy snack. First, let's wash our hands. Today we're making cream cheese fruit squares. And here's my ingredients. I'm going to use cream cheese, graham crackers, honey, blueberries, strawberries, and a kiwi. For starters, I'm going to take my strawberries. I'm going to rinse them off and cut them. Now, although I'm using a butter knife, butter knives are still knives and they still cut. So you guys have to make sure you are extremely careful. Here I am finishing my strawberries. And I'm going to put them aside. Next, I am going to cut my kiwi. Carefully, you guys, still use your knife carefully. And I'm going to cut like so. And put those to the side as well. Next I'm going to grab my graham crackers. And I'm going to break them in half so that way I have a full square versus a rectangle. Be careful because sometimes because these can break unevenly and that is very nerve-wracking. So here I am breaking it as even as I can get it. Perfect. Next, I'm going to get my cream cheese. And another butter knife 
carefully and I'm going to cut off a piece and I'm going to smear it all over the graham cracker square like so. Now here's when you can add as much or as little as you want. I chose to go medium with it, just enough to cover the whole square or just about the whole square, but it's whatever you choose. And then I'm going to assemble my fruit on top. Now push it down in the cream cheese so it stay. You don't have to smash it, but just give it a little force to stick it down. And you can decorate it really pretty, even though you're going to eat it. <laughs> And I'm going to decorate both squares. You can make as many squares as you want. I typically eat about four of them, but for video purposes, I only need two. Once you have as much fruit as you would like on your squares, you're going to then drizzle some honey on top. This is the best part, you guys. So fruit already has its natural sugars, but this just takes it over top. And there you have it, a delicious snack. Come back next time. Back to school TikTok trends. I'm back at Target. I'm going to show you the cutest things you need in your locker this year. I always loved having a decorated locker. It was so fun. Target has some cute stuff right now. If you're like me and have lots of Polaroids that you don't know what to do with, you can totally use this and hang them up in your locker. This is such a cute decoration set with picture frames and a whiteboard marker. They have lots of shelf options. This one's adjustable and I love this clear one. I'm obsessed with this little light. It's so cute. Lots of mirror options. This one's so cute in gold. These next two light up, which I don't even know. Are these cool? Miss Rich, so I can stand here with you. Uh, no. Go to your class. Please, Miss Rich, I do some work. I do some work. My first day back to school in 2021. Without saying goodbye. I used to say I live my life according. <laughs>